Now, Comedy Fight Club, are you ready for your main event of the evening? All right. This one's going to be a little long. It's going to be three rounds. The first one's four jokes hit for tat, then four jokes straight through, then four jokes hit for tat. One more time, we're going to be talking to our judges in between to see what they're thinking. You guys ready for this fight? Yeah. All right. Now, meet your first fighter. He looks like Frank Stewart if he was even gayer and weirder. Dave Sheehan! Dave, how you doing? All right, how are you doing? I'm just feeling pretty good. Are you gay and weird today? I'm here, aren't I? That's a, give it up for Dave. Hey, come on. Hey. And his opponent, he has deep in his name, which is how he likes it in his ass. <laughs> Sam Deep Sam! Sandeep, how you doing? Doing good. I was hoping the judges start fighting. There was some tension. Oh yeah, it's boys versus girls later. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's a battle of sexes. Everybody, you guys ready for this main event? Yeah! yeah. All right, uh, who wants to go first? You can start. Sandeep's going to go first. It's going to be four jokes tip for ten in the first round. This first round starts now. You look like a Ukrainian soldier who spent the last month defending that nuclear plant. Okay, don't like the topical shit. <laughs> Bruh. Sandeep looks like a sweatshop owner, but like a caring one, he'll make his underage workers fill out a how's my, how's my molesting survey after he's done assaulting them. I'm here to date your six-year-old. <laughs> uh, Dave is a 45-year-old virgin who works in IT and has never lived outside New Haven, Connecticut. This is what happens to school shooters when they're tighter gun laws. <laughs> Big talk from a 46-year-old virgin who works in IT. <laughs> no, he's actually a psychiatrist. We did a video chat to prepare for tonight, and uh, it was just him asking me to talk about myself for half hour, then the bastard sent me a bill for $200. <laughs> Thank you, Autistic J.K. Simmons. <laughs> Dave is asexual, which means he's an incel who's also lazy. <laughs> oh, we! Thank you, you expired Slim Jim. Uh, his last name, S-E-N, is short for Sent Nudes. <laughs> you small. Last joke of the round. Uh, as a 45-year-old virgin, Dave watched the 40-year-old virgin and was like, Man, that guy is such a pimp! <laughs> Fuck your life! As New York's leading uh, comediatrist, he never has to uh, tell his patients, I'm sorry, our time is almost up. He just gives them the life. <laughs> Guys, give it up for round one of this main event! <laughs> These guys are brilliant. They got great jokes. Uh, John and Jonah, we're going to start with you. What do you think so far? You guys are both so sad and old. <laughs> and gay. I, just, I like your arrowhead necklace. I like you're in touch with your Indian American heritage. Uh, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Take that off. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had a wonderful conversation waiting for the train with Sandeep, so he's got my vote for right now. Okay. You don't have to vote at this time. No, you I should understand. not vote at that, but don't fucking vote again. Don't yell at me in front of you. Okay. Uh, ben Miller, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I also once had a nice conversation with Sandeep at the train, so I don't know, it could be swinging my vote, but I think it was a pretty good first round. Give it up for them this first round. Let's give it this first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty cool. Just for that. Also, I don't think I've ever seen Sandeep dress this cool. Like, it looks like you watched a video for a pickup artist and, like, wear a necklace that's sharp. That'll get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be great to see more around, too. SP Riven here, what do you think of Sandeep's necklace? Uh, I like it, but I've never had a nice conversation with him at the trade, so I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, got a good first round, excited to see some more. Amy Cardinale. We're not voting, we're just no. talking. Yeah. Wow, who do like? Um, I don't want to be mean, I've decided. It's through fair, fragile men. Uh, we're like feathers, it's very apparent. Uh, so you both had good stuff. Good, good job. Great, great stuff. You've gotten soccer since you got married. 
<laughs> All right, guys, everyone seems very sad for these two, but you guys ready for round two? <laughs> before, before we go, I think it might help. Can you guys confirm that you are not currently sad? Are you sad right now? No. Are you sad? I'm not doing pretty good. All right, the, I don't believe him for some reason. I don't believe Dave, I don't believe Sandy, but they're, they swear they're not sad. Are you guys sad tonight? Yeah. Hell yeah, let's start round two. They said yes. <laughs> they weren't listening, they were just responding to energy. <laughs> Do you guys think we should kill the president? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna say things. All right, uh, who went first last time? Sandeep went first last time, that means Dave goes first this time. Uh, it's four jokes all the way through. This round starts now. Round two. Sandeep looks like a coat rack that grew a face. And he looks like the disappointed dad of a Mike Tyson's punch out character. Uh, he's been to Burning Man, because you know only the best shrinks in the country can say that they once did PCP with Ed Mouse. Another one. He's uh, to trying to find the right woman and he's using for that a dating coach, which is just a bougie way of saying pimp. But he does want a woman who is saving herself for marriage because why buy the sacred cow if you could just get the milk for free? And as a, uh, as a psychiatrist, during his act, uh, if a heckler yells out, you suck, he just says, and how does my sucking make you feel? Which is the same question he asks the goat sometimes that he keeps in his kitchen. Sandeep Sand. <laughs> like Tyson's punch out, what a topical reference. Because your topical stuff is killing. All right. uh, you look like an egg supremacist. <laughs> Dave is asexual, which means he goes to Hooters for the wings, strip clubs for the buffet, and he fucks kids for the candy. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> It's a shame you're asexual, you can get so many women. You don't even have to roofie them, you can just tell them about yourself and they'll fall into a deep sleep. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Uh, Dave volunteers for a big brother program where he works with kids with disciplinary problems. He likes working with delinquents because they're less likely to believe the kids. <laughs> no, they're ignorant. All right, give it up for the second round of that main event, everyone. That was great. All right, we're gonna ask our judges to see what they're, how see how they're feeling. Amy, what did you think of that second round? I'm holding something in so bad because you were a dick to me right now. Um, oh, him, all right. Yeah, it's like mean to say it, but I'm holding it in. <laughs> no, you have to say it, we're I in a roast can. battle. It's too mean, it's so mean. As me? So, oh. So? oh, yeah, you gotta say it. Yeah. Say, it. Say, it. say it, say it, say it, say it. Hey, shut the fuck up. You tried to match me on edge and I threw out my mouth. Um, oh. <laughs> Curtis yes, Queen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my nipples are hard from that. Because um, uh, she wishes good. she had swiped right. Oh, no, I don't. Um, Allegedly! Uh, okay, uh, good job. I'm gonna give it to you. Jokes for jokes for good. We're not voting yet. Ask me what did you oh, think of this round. Oh my god, what I, you know, I, here we are. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we're, it's fine. They're fine. They're doing okay. I expect a little bit more out of the next round, I think. But we haven't had any real big hits, so. Give it up for how fine and okay this main event has gone, everyone. Come on. Wow. All right, Ben, what did you think? I think it's always rough to watch incel on incel violence. <laughs> yeah, I think, Cindy, you started to have the better second round, as you just started to make, like, credible allegations against Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very uncomfortable. Uh, but I, I think it's, it's still close. Looking forward to seeing how things wrap up in round three. All right. John, what did you think of this round? Yeah, I feel like Sandeep has the energy that if he wins, we'll get the kids back. But, uh, <laughs> and then Dave has just resigned himself to haunt the halls of this venue. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, it's, I think it's a toss-up for who will edge it out at the end. All right, we got a ghost for a deadbeat versus a deadbeat dad, everyone. And we're going to go to round three of this main event. You guys ready? Yeah, all right. It's going to be tip for tat once again. Sandeep's going to start us off. Uh, round three, last round of this main event, starts now. Final round. You look like Jada Pinkett's accountant. <laughs> Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. I think 
the judge is going to win our round. That's how good this is going. I should have painted something. Thank you, Sanskritalin. By the way, uh, the name... Oh, you're all high. It'll take you a while. Sorry. By the way, the name Sandeep is actually an ancient Sanskrit word that translates to snatch repellent. Uh, people say Dave looks like Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, which is ironic because he's never seen a box. <laughs> Sandeep looks like an Indian version of Brad Garrett, the annoying cop from that show Everybody Loves Rajesh. <laughs> As a virgin, Dave thinks two in the pink and one in the stink is when he rubs his eyes and picks his nose. <laughs> Sandeep doesn't look like he's uh, very athletic. He, he, I think he throws darts underhanded. But uh, his health is not good. His last blood pressure reading was 7 over 11. <laughs> last joke? Uh, Dave is sort of an American hero, because after 9-11, the terrorists discovered they had to have sex with 72 Dave Sheehans. <laughs> Emotional damage! Never go see him, never go see this uh, psychiatrist if you need mental health. Uh, as a psychiatrist, he'll just make you bring five paying guests to be analyzed along with you. <laughs> Guys, give it up for this main event! Play Club, we're gonna go to you. Is the winner of this battle, Dave Sheehan? Damn, son, where'd you find? Or is the winner of this battle, Sandeep Sen? <laughs> Sandeep's got the first vote. John Jota, we're gonna go to you first. What do you think? Okay, I think the only thing Sandeep can roast is a uh, tandoor chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave just has these like suicide eyes that just bother me. They're piercing. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with Dave, and I'm gonna take the L in about 30 minutes, so just don't don't be on that station. Uh, uh, I, I can't bear to face you again. Uh, my vote goes for Dave Sheehan. One for Sandeep, one for Dave. It's comedy Fight Club champion Ben Miller, what do you think? Uh, I think it's been sort of weird for John and I to judge what would happen to us if everything went wrong in our futures. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought it was close, but Sandeep, I think you were consistently hitting a little bit harder, so I'm going to go for you. Uh, that's two for Sandeep, one for Dave, that's the ribbon in the air. Yeah, I feel like they're like reformed school shooters, that's <laughs> just in the future. Uh, but I feel like Sandeep had more of an edge throughout the whole fight, so I'm going to give it to Sandeep. Sandeep has it all wrapped up. Amy Cardinale, what do you think? Are we voting? I'm making sure. <laughs> Never know, I fucked that up like six times. Uh, um, I'm gonna give it to you, Sandy. You did. You were extra mean. Good for you. Next time I'll send you a rose. Thank you. Oh, I was. I hate being mean to people. You saw. 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 You saw.